about a nine year run that Monadnock had a hockey program and then took a three or four year hiatus where they didn't have hockey so I was very interested in getting it started again and seeing the kids at Monadnock given a chance to, to play hockey. What was so special about my hockey career is one, we started the program and two, we had a really good team. We had a good coach, we had good booster parents that really helped us get the, the program started. We ended up winning the state championship the next year and it wasn't because we were full of talent but it was because you know guys were so hungry to prove to people that hey we belong to play high school hockey even if we are a little bit smaller of the school. The day of the state championship you know we were all really excited we were playing a team uh, Kennett who had you know been a proven program they were in division two the year before so we took the opportunity and we got in really good shape we just didn't know if we could compete with them because they had beaten us up in the season pretty good. So the game started, it was a back and forth game the whole time. We'd score, they score. We'd score, they score. Turned out to be four to three with about two minutes left. We were leading. They ended up tying the game. We, we played about eight minutes of the overtime. Everybody was getting really tired. I remember it specifically. Zach Southwell passed it up to me, who was an assistant coach on this year's team, on the right side of the boards. I was so tired, the puck went through my legs into JP Cavolo, our captain that year. I'm following behind him in the play begging him to drop the puck to me. He didn't. He ended up taking a slap shot that was about 100 miles an hour and it hit the crossbar and went in and the game was over. So we celebrated on the ice that day and it turned out to be, you know, one of the happiest days of my life. <laughs> yeah. It was important to me to get the program going at Monadnock again because it did have a strong tradition for a few years. Me and Keegan were talking and I said, Keegan, we need to get a meeting together see how many players we have in this school. I've been playing since I was like almost four or five. My dad was a big part of bringing him back. He was going to coach it until we got a new job opportunity. We knew past um, players and coaches such as the La Roaches and they had most of the jerseys. We kind of just spread the word about it and we've been trying to do this for a couple of years now. Whether or not we're varsity or not, I just like having hockey back in Monadnock. I wanted to at least play one season for Monadnock and even if it meant not playing for a varsity program, at least I was still wearing my school colors and on the ice being able to play with a bunch of the guys that will be able to keep the team going, making a varsity program. I think we're coming together pretty well. I mean. We got a lot of us that haven't played much. Some of us haven't played at all. The first practice that we had, four or five guys couldn't even stand up really. And now here they are, they're being able to skate, crossover, stop. It was important to get the booster club started because hockey is an expensive sport. And we've been very successful actually. It's, it's been very exciting. We've had equipment show up at, literally at our doorstep of people who wanted to help us out. We decided to make things to to sell, to help with the funds. Just to not only raise money, but to raise the spirit, you know, let, let the public know that we're out there and the boys, are, the boys and girls are skating hard and they should come and support their team and their school. And they work hard in school because they have to get the good grades and they're working hard. As Kristen said, they're here at five o'clock in the morning, you know, and then go to school all day and come back and do it again the next day. Just playing sports is, is very beneficial for every kid, if you ask me. It keeps them involved, keeps them socially involved, and it also you know, keeps you disciplined and makes you, makes you keep your grades up because you have to do it in order to play. Waking up early, it has improved my grades a lot. It's making me more focused, making me more aware of what's going on. I mean, it does get tiring throughout the day, like last period, it's kind of a drag. But you can easily go home, take a nap for an hour, get up, do your homework, do whatever you want, the whole day to yourself. This kind of helped out because usually it was a lull in between uh, football and time baseball started. It was always tough because he would let the grades drop now with them being uh, something for him to actually do. He's much more focused on schoolwork. To me, a successful first season would be to get through the first season and be a varsity program next year, competing in the Division Three level and trying to, trying to win a state championship at some point. I feel pretty good about where the program is right now. We've been playing five eighth graders pretty consistently, getting them a lot of experience, which is good knowing that I have them for the next five years. We've got a good core of 10th graders where there's five or six of them, good hockey players, 
good goalies in the sophomore group, good goalies in the eighth grader group as well. So that helps to know that we have that foundation for the future. When you grow up, you, all you ever dream about is wanting to play you know, for your school. And so finally they have that opportunity now to wear the green and white and to play for their classmates who have come out in force to really support the boys and girls on our team. Even though I won't be here, I've been talking to kids saying, hey, you should definitely come out to the program. We're a lot better than you think we are. Definitely come out, watch us. And a lot of the kids that I've talked to, a lot of them are saying that they definitely want to come out and play next year, at least try out. We're improving on a daily basis. We're just a small town JV program starting up again. Starting and hopefully next year can be a varsity. We're worth watching. We might not be as good as some of the other area teams. We're definitely better than a lot of people think we are. Husky, not three. One, two, three. Husky.